everyone, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a juice reading where I look at you, your person, the energy between you and your person, what is happening behind the scenes when it comes to your person in their life, what developments are happening, what spiritual developments are happening, what astrology developments are happening for you and your person, okay? Now this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. Uh, if it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. In the extended, I will cover some additional details and um, some more important uh, information about your connection, okay? So what I'm going to do before I get into the reading, I'm going to say a few announcements before I get started. Uh, the first announcement I want to make is that when you are watching this reading, it is very important that you are a part of the community, that you are commenting, that you are engaging with the channel, okay? Subscribe, make sure you're hitting that like button because the like button brings your energy into the channel and it allows me to connect better with you so that I can provide the uh, messages that you are looking to hear, that you need confirmation for etc okay so it's very important that you're engaging um, in the channel not just sitting back lurking in the background um, engage okay be a part of the community comment um, engage with other people on the channel and that allows you to you know be a part of us be a part of our family and also most importantly um, enjoy yourself okay so that's the first thing I want to say the next thing I want to say is is that um, uh, you know, let me know what you're drinking, of course, <laughs> in the comment section below, or if you're on the live, let us all know what you're drinking, uh, because this is a juice and you got to bring your juice, right? So for today, I'm just drinking uh, plain old water. Okay. I usually have my, uh, smoothie that I do, which I do every morning. I think I posted that on one of the other videos, the uh, recipe for that, so you can check that out. The other thing I wanna to mention too is, is that at the end of the reading, I always do ask a question, get an answer, okay? So what is ask a question, get an answer? If you have a burning question that you want to uh, know some sort of information about. Maybe you need some insight into this question. Okay, it's gonna be very important that you watch the reading until the end so that at the end of the reading, you can ask your question. I will pull three cards from the um, Ask Angel cards and I will relay to you what the angels want to say in terms of the question that you are asking, okay? It's very important that when you ask the question, um, it is a yes or no answer, not a question that requires an in-depth answer okay so without further ado I'm gonna get into the reading and we're gonna see what is going on between you and your person okay so let's see what's going on so how I'm gonna start this reading is I'm gonna pull one card for you one card for your person and one card for the energy between you and your person at this time okay so tell me about the collective this is also a collective reading, okay? So there's no specific sign. If the messages resonate with you, then the reading is for you, okay? It's very important also, I have to mention this, um, it's very important that throughout the reading, you are listening to the messages. You're not looking for the reading to resonate from point A to point B, okay? It's very important that you listen to the messages because there may be some important messages in this reading that you need to hear, okay? Okay, so I'm being told to start with you, okay? To start with you, oh, okay, so we have the Hierophant. So for many of you right now, um, your energy is the Hierophant. You're somebody that wants commitment, okay? You want a commitment, you want something serious here. You don't wanna be playing games with someone. Now for others of you, um, someone is viewing you as the Hierophant. They're viewing you as someone that they see themselves married to, they see themselves committing to, okay? So this is very, it's a very serious energy that um, a lot of you are embodying right now, okay? Wife material, <laughs> um, husband material here. Maybe you are a wife or a husband, okay? Let's see your person. What energy is, ooh, what energy? Okay, that's too many cards. We're gonna see what energy your person is in. Um, moving forward, let's see what energy your person is in. Tell me about the collective's person. Tell me about the collective's person, please. Okay. 
Okay. So we have two cards. Um, your person, we have the strength here. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Okay, I'm getting Leo energy here. And you have the two of pentacles here. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you that are watching, you could be um, a Taurus energy. Okay, here. Your person right now, um, what I'm getting in terms of the energy right now, um, your person has a decision here to make. A very important decision here that they have to make, okay, in regards to either this commitment, this marriage, okay, we're going to see. Let's see what the energy is between you and this person. What is the energy between you and your person? Okay, so we have four cards. The first card we have is the High Priestess. Okay. I feel like there's either a lack of communication between you and this person or there's no communication at all Okay, between you and this person. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, You both want to communicate. You both have something important to say to one another. I'm also getting with the Page of Wands here, you both want to move into a new direction. This is about a fresh start. And I've been saying this now throughout all of the um, individual readings that I've been doing, okay, that a lot of you are preparing to move into a new experience in life, okay? For many of you, you and your person are ready to experience something new here. We're going to see what this is all about. The next card we have is the Eight of Cups, okay? For many of you, the energy between you and this person right now, there's either a lack of emotional um, support or a lack of emotional fulfillment here. Someone here, both of you, I feel, because this is the energy between you and them, um, there's a lack of emotional support here okay there's a lack of emotional fulfillment there's a lack of emotional satisfaction we're going to see why this is and the other energy we have is the three of swords in the center of the reading okay so someone here i'm really getting and i'm going to have to say this um it is typical but i'm going to say it uh someone here is a little disappointed maybe because of a third party situation or uh, maybe there was some sort of deception or lies here that has really affected the connection. Okay, so either way, your person has a decision to make. Um, I feel like you're sitting pretty, you know, you're looking for a commitment or you want a commitment with this person or maybe you're married to this person. But there's definitely some sort of commitment that you have here with this person is what it's telling me. Okay, so what we're going to do now, uh, collective, is we are going to look more into what is happening behind the scenes when it comes to your person. Um, what is it that you need to know? Bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. So some of you are feeling separated from this person or there is a separation. Typically in the juice reading, the two of wands comes out. Okay, so I'm not surprised that it is at the bottom of the deck. Um, tell me more about the collective's person. Tell me more about the collective's person. What is happening behind the scenes? Okay, if we were a fly on the wall, as I like to do in this reading, if we were a fly on the wall and we were spying on your person, what would we see? What is going on in your person's life behind the scenes that you don't know about? Let's see. What's going on behind the scenes when it comes to the collective's person? interesting because I only wanted two cards and two cards came out. So we have the three of pentacles here and we have the four of cups. There's something here about your person not being satisfied in something. Okay. There's something here that they're not satisfied. There's, there's something here about your person not feeling fulfilled in some sort of situation. It could definitely be a work situation that they're doing. It could also be, um, your person seeking or wanting attention from other people. Okay. This is why we have the three of swords in the center. Um, for many of you, your person needs to make a decision between maybe you and someone else here. Okay. There's definitely a lot of opportunity that are coming in for your person, but your person wants um, one specific thing, okay? Tell me more about what's happening behind the scenes. We have the Six of Swords. For many of you, you're dealing with somebody who's planning on leaving a situation, okay? They're planning on leaving a situation. Tell me more about what's happening behind the scenes. They're leaving a situation because there's a better opportunity, okay? So for many of you, you're dealing with someone here who's not happy or satisfied, possibly in um, the connection that either they're with you or maybe... They're in a connection with someone else and they're looking for a better opportunity here, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. So this person is ready to offer their love to someone here, okay? The Empress. What else? We have the Chariot. So there's a really strong energy here of your person moving forward, okay? There's something here about your person moving forward to... Um, 
some sort of new opportunity here because they're not satisfied with whatever is being offered to them, okay? For some of you, this person is making a decision, okay? About leaving a situation to come towards you to have commitment with you, okay? There's a lot of spying, okay? A lot of watching here with the page of swords at the bottom. What is it that you need to know about this connection right now? Give me a few cards to see. What do you really need to know about this connection? What do you really need to know about this connection right now? What do you really need to know about this connection? Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. There is some sort of trust issues between you and this person is what I'm getting. I'm also getting with the Hierophant here, you have the nine of wands, the queen of cups and the star. What you really need to know about this connection right now, collective, is that there is a lot of love for you and this person. There's definitely... Um, thoughts and ideas about the future okay there's a lot of future planning here there's also this energy here of you trying to make this work this connection work on multiple occasions okay you've tried to make it work there's been a lot of failures um but you keep enduring in this situation for some of you you're already married to this person and you're trying to make something work and um for others of you i feel like you are um, wanting to marry this person or you're wanting a commitment from this person and you've tried to make this happen and you're hoping that you know the love that you offer and you give to this person is going to be love that you have with them for an eternity okay star energy this is like healing this is future energy so I really feel like there's something here that you want when it comes to this person and um, you hope to have a future with them, okay? But there's also some sort of issues that I see here because someone here is not satisfied, okay? Either you or your person in the connection and you're hoping to have um, a new beginning, you know, moving into a new direction and overcoming the pain and the emotional trauma that has happened between you and this person, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull some romance angel cards and we're gonna see, I'm gonna look more into the connection and see... Um, what each of these cards mean, okay? So why is the High Priestess here? Um, Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Because there is silence here, okay? There's a desire for you and this person to move into a new direction, um, but something here needs to be resolved. So tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is there silence here? What's not being communicated between these two? Okay, so we have two cards. First is children, okay? And we have children again, twice. So there's a couple of things that I'm getting here, okay? The first thing that I'm getting here is that some of you have children with this person, okay? And maybe, you know, there's a disconnect um, when it comes to the children. Now, for others of you, um, there's a lot to do with um, childish behavior, okay? Someone here is not mature. There's a lot of child energy here, okay? So maybe you have um, children with this person or maybe there's talks about children or possibly someone here is acting like a child, very childish, okay? This could be very childish energy because it came out twice and this is rare, it doesn't come out twice. I have two decks in here, by the way. Um, so yeah, so tell me more about the Page of Wands. Your love life is being affected by children, okay? Somebody here also wants children. One of you wants children, okay? Maybe this is something that you haven't talked about with this person. Um, the idea of wanting children or having children. Some of you have mentioned ha wanting to have children with this person and they just shoo you away or they don't, they don't, um, they don't acknowledge the fact that you want to have children. That could also be the case too. We have romantic feelings, okay? And it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So there's definitely a desire here to, to, um, to experience some sort of new romantic feelings, okay? So, Again, this could have a lot to do with being open in terms of, you know, having different experiences within your connection, okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, this person wants to have a new beginning, okay? Because they have a lot of feelings for you. They want to explore these feelings. They want to do something different, okay? And I see that for a lot of you, there there is communication about this, okay? So experiencing some sort of new romantic feelings here, okay? Let's see what the Eight of Cups is all about, Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Let 
we have let go of control issues. Okay, so the main issue here is, is that someone is trying to control the situation. Okay, it says allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of you are walking away from this connection way too quickly. Okay, because you have control or you're trying to control the situation. And what you're being called to both of you, not just one of you, both of you is to let go of control. Some of you are choosing to walk away, okay, either you or your person is choosing to walk away because you feel like you don't have, you no longer have control over this situation. But there's something here about this situation um, being at a point where it's going to unfold naturally without you trying to control it, okay? This is why some of you are choosing to walk away. Maybe your person is choosing to walk away uh, temporarily, okay? So let's see what the Three of Swords is all about here. What's the three of swords about express your love? Someone here is really hurt, okay, over um, over something that happened. For many of you, this is a third party situation. Somebody here feels like they're not good enough. Um, someone here is always seeking outside attention because they're not emotionally fulfilled. They're not emotionally fulfilled. So what I'm seeing here, okay, between you and this person, the issues is that one of you is afraid to express what you truly want, whether that's kids, maybe some of you want children, maybe it's come to that point where you're like, yeah, I want children, you know, um, or I want to explore within my connection, I, I find my connection boring, it's not fulfilling. Uh, so there's something here about a need for you and this person to express. And through this expression, through you asking or wanting some sort of response from your person, this is what leads to a decision, okay? So there's a big decision that your person has to make. Now, if this isn't a decision that your person has to make, it could be your person juggling options here, okay? Maybe they're juggling you and someone else. But ultimately, your person is looking at these things that need to be worked through um, in your connection, okay? For many of you, your person is trying to control the situation um, here, Okay, this could be the possibility as well, too. So what we're going to do now, Collective, is I'm going to get into the astrology aspect and I'm going to see what is transpiring for you and this person. But before I do that, I want to see what um, what is coming into your life. Okay, so what is coming into your life when it comes to love? What are the good things that are coming into your life that you need to know? What are the good things that are coming into your life? Okay. So we're going to choose three cards. Okay. All right. So what, what I find really interesting is you got the hope card, which is the star card here. Um, there's something really great that's coming into your life. Okay. There's something very big that's coming in here. Um, I see January of next year, you're going to be completing something. There's going to be a big completion in January. I know January is really far away from now, but that's just a, a quick channel message I have for you. There's something that you need to stay positive about, okay, in your life, whatever it may be. It may be about you having a new beginning, okay? Some of you are going to be experiencing a brand new beginning in April. I'm getting um, a very strong, beautiful new beginning. We're going to clarify this later and we're going to see what this is all about for you. And we have the moon, okay? So there's something that's hidden from you that you don't completely understand about this new beginning, Okay, so for many of you, you are desiring a new beginning. You're hoping to have a new beginning, maybe even a better experience in love. Um, so the universe is saying, yeah, I have um, something for you that's hidden and it's a beautiful new beginning. But in this new beginning, you don't know how this new beginning is going to be. Some of you are afraid to take a risk on a new um, situation. Okay, but there is something here hidden. So we will clarify later and we will see what that's all about. So let's get into the astrology and let's see um, what planets are affecting you right now in your love life and what planets are um, affecting your person. Okay. I'm going to choose just some random, random cards here. Okay. I'm going to choose two planets for you. Two planets for your person. Okay. I'm going to choose two house cards for you and two house cards for your person. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's start with you. And let's see what planet is affecting you. We have Uranus. Okay, we have Uranus. So Uranus um, is all about sudden changes. 
I see a sudden change happening for you in your life. It's a sudden uh, shocking change, your your um, potential for sudden change, enlightenment and awakening. Some of you are in um, Aquarius. I'm getting Aquarius here. I'm getting Pisces. I'm also getting um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay, as collective. This is what I'm getting here. So there's something about a sudden change that's going to happen in terms of a new beginning, okay? You don't see this happening. Um, in the extended, when I get to the extended, we're going to go deeper into this and I'm going to clarify what sudden changes are coming into your life. Um, for you. What else do we have? We have Venus. Okay. You've been getting Venus for quite some time. There's something here about you learning about love. Okay. For many of you, there's going to be a sudden change in your love life. It's going to be a shocking, sudden new change that's coming in. It says the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. Okay. So there's something here that's going to happen in your love life. We're going to see for some of you, there could be a commitment on the horizon, maybe a marriage. Um, maybe someone's going to propose to you this year is what I'm getting. Okay. So before we um, look at the house cards, I'm going to look at your person and see what planets are affecting your person when it comes to this connection and love life. Okay. So for your person, we have Pluto. Your person is going through the rising of the Phoenix. Your person has been going through this for quite some time. Um, we've been getting Pluto on your person's side for a while now. Uh, the planetary message for your person is your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. Okay. So your person could be a Scorpio here. I'm getting, I'm also getting Leo. I'm getting Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I'm getting Cancer and I'm also getting Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody who is going through an awakening. This is why there's a lot of transformations that are happening in your connection. There's a desire to move forward, but there's also fear when it comes to moving forward. Okay. With Pluto, we're going to see what other planet is affecting your person. We have Jupiter. So your person right now is being forced to expand. Okay. Your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. This person is being called to take a risk. Okay. And this could be a risk, a decision that has to be made. I'm really getting because we're tying the tying the story up together here, that your person has a decision to make about whether or not they're choosing to expand. Do they want to have children with you? Do they want to um, express their love to you? You know, there's a lot of things that are happening here. Expansion has a lot to do with doing something outside of um, one's comfort zone, okay? So this is what Jupiter is talking about. We have the um, Hierophant here. And the Hierophant, what the Hierophant is telling me is, is that for many of you, the main story I have here is, is that a lot of you want a commitment with this person. You want marriage, okay? If you already have marriage, you wanna expand your marriage or you wanna expand your experiences within this uh, marriage, okay? So the Two of Pentacles is talking about a decision about expanding, a decision to awaken, a decision to transform. And this is what your person is being called to do at this time okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to look at the houses okay what what astrological houses are affecting you in love and what astrological houses are affecting your person in love okay so for you we have the fifth house again i'm not surprised this card keeps coming out for you um it says where you have fun romance create things you are proud of so your whole entire message here okay and and again the cards usually don't change by much um, because the energy stay the same for quite some time. For many of you, you're learning how to love. You're learning how to be in love with someone. You're learning romance. You're learning how to be confident in love. This is taking time. It's not something that's going to happen right away. But what's changing for you and what's coming in for you is romance, okay? Real romance, real love um, with this fifth house energy here. So that's very beautiful. This is Leo energy. And we have the sixth house, okay? The sixth house has a lot to do with Virgo energy. Some of you could be Virgos that are watching this. The message here from the universe um, astrologically is the work, health, and duty area of your life. So what this is saying is that for many of you, you're being called to service, okay, to give service in your daily life, okay? So there could be um, some sort of job that you're doing. There's also a need for you to balance your love life and your work life, your daily life and your love life. This should be something that's motivating you, okay? The sixth house is all about health. It's all about well-being. And with it being beside the fifth house, this is talking about finding a healthy balance when it comes to love and work, finding a healthy balance when it comes to your relationship, equal give and take, um, being healthy, okay? All of this is going to be really important in your love life because your love life is, is very much connected to your work life. It's very much connected to your daily um, experiences in your life, okay? So um, your work, 
your duty in the world and your health is what's going to contribute to a successful and happy marriage or relationship. This is what this is saying, okay? For your person, what houses are affecting your person? We have the fourth house here, okay? Fourth fourth house is really interesting because with the fourth house, we see a hand and we see a ba like a baby's hand here. And the interesting thing here is that we got children twice. This is not a coincidence. Someone needs to hear this, okay? Someone here wants to have children, They've wanted to have children for quite some time, but they've been very silent about it. Your person is being called to make a decision about family, home, okay? It says your home and roots of your being. Someone here has trauma from their uh, family situation in the past, okay? I'm, I'm, I have this very important message. It's not gonna resonate with everyone, but someone needs to hear it. Someone is afraid to have children or they're afraid to commit to having children because of the trauma that they experienced in their house. Um, in their household. And we have Pluto and the fourth house here with Jupiter. So it's almost like one of the things I have to say when it comes to your person, if, if you are dealing with someone here who's afraid to have children or who is unsure of having children, it's actually very beneficial to possibly have children, okay? Of course, it's your own decision, but it's very beneficial here because Pluto and Jupiter talks about a major transformation, which is a risk that one may be taking, but it's also going to potentially lead to a lot of expansion and beautiful, um, you know, luck. There could be a lot of luck in this situation. So right now your person um, is being called to maybe commit to you, maybe to have children, maybe to work on the family life or the family home um, with you and them. And we also have the eighth house. For many of you, you are married to this person. We see the two rings here. Okay. It says transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. Some of you share uh, resources with this person. I feel like this is a marriage for many of you, okay? Or this may be leading to a marriage. Nonetheless, there's a transformation that's happening um, when it comes to maybe the resources that you and this person share at this time, okay? So what I'm gonna do um, before we get into how your person feels about you, because I will be pulling three cards, I'm gonna see what, um, what you wanna say to this person and what they wanna say to you, okay? What do you wanna say to this person? And what do they want to say to you? Okay, we have love. And it says, this is what you want to say to your person. It says, divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself. So you're giving this person love. You want to give this person love. This is why you came in as the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. What does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you? Okay, we have energetic clearing okay and your person's message to you is during crisis is it crises yeah during crises the holy one her, herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive your luminous plan okay so i feel like this person's making a plan they're making a plan, they're releasing something, they're clearing something, okay? For many of you, you're dealing with someone who's leaving one situation in order to come towards you and possibly have a commitment with you is what I'm getting, okay? We have divine um, abundance at the bottom and it says you were born to align with love's will, following the Tao and serve something beyond the ego, okay? Learn to be abundant, not chase it. So there's something here about letting go of control for both of you, okay? There's something about really letting go of control in some sort of situation. So what I'm going to do um, before we get into how your person um, feels about you, I'm going to be seeing how this person feels for each zodiac sign. So in the extended reading, I'm going to be pulling um, a card for each sign and we're going to see how this person truly feels about you. And then we're gonna get into ask a question, get an answer, okay? So let's see how your person truly feels about you. How does your person truly feel in their subconscious about you? Okay, one, how does your person truly feel? Okay. All right, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, 
Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, okay? So I will reveal those in the extended reading and each message is going to be about how your person truly feels at this time, okay? So in terms of the collective energy, how does your person truly feel about you? The first one we have is grief, wow. So your person's message to you is, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So for many of you, this person is um, realizing that they lost you, okay? Or they lost an opportunity with you. There's something here about an opportunity that that was missed okay some of you are still connected to this person maybe you're still married but this person is in a place of grief right now and they're trying to remove themselves from some sort of situation that's no longer working for them okay we have adversity your your person is experiencing a lot of adversity when it comes to their love life when it comes to um just this this connection in general you know um we have i accept i accept the I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, okay? So your person is learning right now. They're learning based on their experience with grief, okay? The next message we have is love. So your person is still feeling love for you. It says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So your person is definitely becoming more enlightened in this situation and they're learning more, okay? They're learning more about what is... Um, what does it truly mean to really love? Okay, what does it truly mean to really love? So before we get into ask a question, get an answer, we're going to see what um, what you are manifesting. We're going to use the uh, the making magic manifesting your dreams uh, oracle and I'm going to be pulling uh, one card for you and one card for your person and we're going to see what is being manifested for you behind the scenes when it comes to your love life. Okay. Um, and then we'll get into ask a question, get an answer. So make sure you're typing your question in the live feed. If you're watching this after the live, make sure you are commenting your question below. Okay. The more you comment, the more you ask, the more likely the energy is going to be able to give you the message that you need. Okay. So it's very important that you are engaging with the channel. Okay. So what is it that you're manifesting in your life right now? What important developments are happening for you collective at this time? Something's telling me to pull two cards. Okay, so we got two for you and two for your person. Okay. All right. Okay, what are you manifesting? So the first one that you got is the elements, okay? It says the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. A lot of you are being called to protect yourself through the elements, okay? Some of you are magicians or uh, maybe you're witches and you like to use things to manifest and create. There's something here about protecting your energy, okay? Um, you know, someone needs to hear that. There's something here about needing, protect, um, needing to protect your energy. So a lot of you are manifesting things that are helping to protect your energy at this time okay we have spirit it says heavenly assistance from your angels and guides so some of you are um asking for help there are people spirits around you okay ancestors that are helping you at this time there's things that you want to achieve and you want to accomplish you are um being helped okay but you need to believe in this you need to believe and you need to connect more with spirit in order to tap into this energy okay so this is what's being manifested for you for your person we have time to shine time to shine and your person's message is creates the energy um great greets the energetic residence for golden opportunities okay so your person is in a place where if they make the right decision okay whatever that decision may be because we did talk about your person needing to make a decision only you're going to know what decision that your person has to make but if they make the right decision it could lead to a very big golden opportunity for them but they have to make the right decision um and the next message we have for your person is three ray of light balancing male and female energies peace and harmony so there's something here about your person needing to let go of control okay i'm really getting from your person's end there there's a very strong controlling energy here there's a need to balance this is why they're in this energy of the two of 
pentacles, okay? Um, I also wanna mention throughout the whole entire reading, I had a hard time speaking, which is telling me that for many of you, your person um, is having a hard time expressing to you. Maybe they're not communicating as well as they could be. So this is also something that I feel your person is gonna be working on moving forward, okay? Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because with um, April coming in, April is all about new beginnings. It's the first sign of the zodiac uh, Aries. So it talks about a fresh new start. And a fresh new start uh, means that there's a need to change. There's a need to step outside of the comfort zone. And this is what I feel like your person is going to be doing. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to get into ask a question, get an answer. I'm going to pull three cards um, and we're going to see what the answers are for you. Okay. So make sure you're writing um, in the live feed your question make sure it's not a question like you know what's my person's favorite color what day is my person going to knock at my door you know um you know all of that stuff it has to be either a yes or no answer okay so make sure that you are asking your question if you're not comfortable asking your question in the live feed or in the comment section below you can always ask it um within your own space and um the more you speak about it the more likely you're going to get the answer what you need okay so ask a question get an answer okay so ask a question get an answer and we have yes this is a yes this is a straight yes um that's it it's a straight yes for the first question okay second question ask a question get an answer and we have success this is definitely a yes okay um uh this is definitely something that is going to be achieved here it's something great it's something big it's definitely a yes okay ask a question get an answer and we have big happy changes and this is also a yes as well too okay so i want to thank every single person for liking for commenting for sharing for sending me donations for all your messages for all your love and your support i am so happy that you all could be here i want to thank each and every one of you sending virtual hugs um, as always and in the extended reading before i do let you go i'm going to tell you what we're going to be looking into i'm going to be looking at each and every sign i'm going to go all the way from aries through to pisces you can check your sun moon and rising you can check your person sign i'm going to be seeing how this person truly feels and what message this person wants to say to you so we're going to add additional messages to this i'm also going to be seeing for you um collective what new beginning is happening for you in your life okay so whether you're single or you are um, with somebody or you're not with someone there is some sort of new change that's coming in for you it's definitely an unexpected change here with Uranus so I will be clarifying right away as soon as we get into the extended I'm going to start off by clarifying Uranus what sudden change is going to be coming into your life when it comes to love there's definitely a sudden change that's happening here for you um, it's a definitely an overdue long awaited change for you so we're going to clarify that we're going to see what this new beginning, this hidden new beginning is all about for you. Okay. I'm going to also be looking at how you are viewing your person, how your person's viewing you, how you feel about your person, how your person feels about you, the actions you're likely to take towards this person, the actions they're likely to take towards you. I'm also going to be checking out what the potential outcome is going to be between you and this person. Are they going to call? Are they going to message? Are you two going to get back together? Okay. Is there a new person coming in? We're going to see all of that in the extent. Ended, okay so thank you so much for tuning in i am sending you lots of love and light and i will see you all very soon